welcome to my channel. As some of you may already recognize, I am in Sigulda. And the first uh, cycling adventure uh, will be around Sigulda. So, I have planned new route uh, across uh, Sigulda city. Uh, for myself, I uh, call it uh, Sigulda classic uh, city MTB route. Uh, because uh, it will lead uh, through the city and also through some uh, forest trails and uh, some uh, maybe uh, gravel roads as well. So, let me tell you a little bit more about this route. So, in total it will be 22 kilometers long, but uh, since uh, you will want to uh, make some stop to rest, uh, to film some uh, must-see sightseeing objects, sightseeing places, uh, so approximately I think it will take at least four hours for me to finish this uh, uh, route. Because I really want to film it uh, properly and uh, want to have the good content on my uh, channel. Yeah, so in short, uh, this route uh, starts here at uh, Festival uh, Square. Then uh, I will be going to see some stick uh, park. Then uh, near uh, Evangelic Lutheran uh, Church. And then I will uh, be going to see uh, Sigulda new castle. There I hope to taste some um, good tasty Sigulda ice cream. Then I will continue my journey to uh, Paradise uh, Hill. Uh, after that I will be cycling through the city and uh, near uh, Sigulda train uh, station. Then I will be going down to Gauja river near Gauja valley and we'll be cycling all along till the bridge over Gauja river and there uh, interesting MTB trail will start and I will be cycling till Krimulda uh, castle ruins and then uh, going down and uh, crossing another bridge to Sigulda and I will finish again here at Festival Square. Um, so basically why I called it a classic uh, route because uh, it will be going through the main uh, places you should visit if you are going to Sigulda. Yeah, and the weather is quite nice. Uh, in the morning it was uh, really cloudy, at least in Riga. And I was thinking maybe I should not go today. Um, but then I decided, okay, I will go. And now sun is shining. Yeah, it's still partly cloud, uh, cloudy, but uh, at least we have sun. And no, I will not be cycling down here because I think it's too dangerous. And I just want to have a uh, nice time. So, uh, yeah, about the festival square, what you can do here. You can enjoy beautiful views over uh, uh, Gauja Valley and uh, have a ride on this uh, panoramic uh, wheel where uh, they have the Tarzan Park, you can have uh, some cool adventures, cool attractions there. <clears throat> yeah, and here is the most beautiful view over Gauja Valley. Let's check it.
let's go and pack my bike and let's start this cycling adventure. And here is the cable car which you can take and go to Primulda. Here you can have a view on Tureda Castle. Waterproof, quite good. And here you can rent a bike if you don't have your own. You can even rent electric bike. of sticks it's very popular souvenir from Sigulda so if you're not from Latvia if you're a tourist but even if you are from Latvia I think you should buy one of the sticks and this is the park dedicated to famous Sigulda sticks let's take a closer look And here is the object dedicated to Latvian cycling unity race, which happens every year in Sigulda. Uh, there is a road cycling, MTB cycling, also retro cycling activities. And here, here, what are the names of all participants which participated? In a cycling race, uh, in this unity cycling race, uh, I guess some years ago, I don't remember, but it was kind of anniversary of this uh, cycling uh, activity. And uh, yeah, my name as well is somewhere here, since I'm also participated in that cycling race. And you know what is the new thing here? Here is the instruments if you need to fix your bike see a lot of instruments and also the pump here as well yeah so if your tires are empty 
here is the station to fix your bike actually very cool i'm impressed but i have this small pump from cube very light uh, maybe not so uh, convenient to use but uh, it's very light and uh, just in case yeah, and here is the famous road Yeah, here is the famous road. Uh, if you participate in any single day race, uh, cycling race, uh, always you need to go uphill and it's uh, very difficult. Sigildas Evangelic Lutheran Church. Oh, very nice building. It's near Sigilda New Castle. Let's take a look. The Christian belief has had a long history in the area of Sigula town. It began with the monk Theordi, who was the first to bring the words of Christianity to Tureda in 1887. 37 years later, it was reinforced through William from Modern, who founded Sigula Christian fold. The first mention of a church on the site there, today stands Sigula church, can be found in writings dated from 1483 with the name Saint Bartolomeo Church. From 1965 to 1990, Sigilda Church was the only church within the area that housed people of different religious denominations and the fold grew. Yeah. This is also one of the objects you must see if you are visiting Sigilda.
here. This is the Siegel the New Castle. You can go inside, you can climb on the tower. Where is nice beautiful view. And there are ruins of old Siegel the Castle. This is also one of the must see places in Sigulda. cycling again through Sigulda city near Sigulda train station and then going down till Gauja Valley the nature of Sigulda city. Very warm, a little bit windy. As I said, this will be not only city ride riding in Sigulda, but also MTB gravel route. Yeah, there is one more bench here behind my back so you can have a rest. Very dangerous single track here and you must be very careful here. Yeah, as you see, very dangerous. Don't go here on a full speed. I suggest 
to walk here. Oh, I'm not sure if I will be able to bring my bicycle. And now I need to climb these stairs. And now I can ride my bicycle again. If you take these stairs down, you can go and visit Peter's cave, which we already did with my kids. Please check my previous video and press like. Yeah, looks like again, I need to follow this single track. See, um, but I don't want to follow this trail. So I guess I will make another adjustment to my route. Yeah, you can plan uh, in advance uh, the route of course but sometimes when you go to the nature you see that okay um, this is not the path I want to choose so let's do a small change in initial plan Here I'm back on my initial route. So if I have chosen to follow the single track, I would be going from, he from here and then there to follow the original route. Back on the cycling road. the big and nice I guess 10 kilometers are done uh, still 12 kilometers to cycle today uh, yeah yeah this is Sigolda and now I will be going in that direction but for now small break small pit stop to have a drink yeah and here is the hotel Sigulda and this is the area where you can find a lot of cafeterias, shops to buy some food. See, Sigolda. Yeah, there is some cafeteria here. Then on the other side of the road. See? Here's the writing. Sigolda. I like this adventure so far. And do you like to watch this video? If you do, press like. Please support me in my beginnings on YouTube. But I will continue my journey.
Yeah, this is Sigulda Hotel. Very nice building. And currently I'm going to Sigulda train station. Yeah, and here is Sigulda train station. There's a fountain there. Also the stop for the buses. I feel the raindrops. <laughs> but I hope it will not be raining today. Wow! So wonderful view! It's magnificent! See? So nice! And here, on the left side, where is a railroad but a view from here <laughs> guys it's amazing Is this some kind of throne? There. <sighs> yeah, and here, please be very careful if you're not the professional MTB biker. Because if you're riding here with a huge speed, it could be very, very dangerous. But uh, then I was participating in the cycling MTB uh, races. We were riding through such forest paths. But today I have decided not to take any dangerous activities. See? Yeah. And here are the stairs which we need to take because I want to go down to the valley of Gauya. But the view is very wonderful. These fallen trees. <laughs> Do you hear? The navigation suggests me to make a U-turn, turn around and go back. But no, we will not be going back. We will be going only forward. You see? The wonderful view. Yeah. 
Yeah. Am I tired? Uh, yes, of course I'm tired. Uh, as I said, it's very uh, hot today. There is no uh, sun. At least sun is shining from time to time, but uh, uh, it's cloudy. Uh, anyways, the temperature is around 27 degrees. And uh, that's why it's very hot. And if you are cycling, uh, good that I took two bottles of water. Now I need to find out where to go. Should I go there or should I go there? Uh, what our navigation says. Yeah, it looks like I need to go back here and then somewhere there turn left and follow. River Gauya. So if you will be riding the bike here be very careful because you can go down here uh, and I was here walking hiking it was not like that yeah and this is beautiful Gauya river Yeah, here is the Devil's Cave and the swimming place, you can swim. And there is the bridge which I need to cross to the other side of the area. Crossing the bridge over River Gauya and here the wonderful views over Gauya Valley. Check it. And there you can see the Devil's Cave. Actually, it's good that it's not so shining today because, as I said, it's very hot and the clouds make it easier for you. 
especially if you're sightened. So we are crossing the bridge. And then going to Krimulda. We'll check some Krimulda castle ruins. And then we will cross another bridge over Gauja because we need to return back to the place where we have started. Going up, going up. You need to think about your hours because here is very long distance where you need to go uphill and it's very hard not like super hard but Cycling is forbidden on this territory. Yeah, this is the Krimulda Manor. A oh, very old building. Yeah, and here is the cable car. So you can take the cable car to back to Sigulda. And somewhere there should be our Remove the castle ruins. Yeah, this is the last stop on today's journey. The Remove the castle ruins. A very interesting place. Do you like this place? Please post your comments. Yeah, now it's time to go back. Going down to River Gallia, crossing the another bridge and then will be a huge uphill to reach the festival square and then I will be driving home journey is almost over yeah and here starts our journey home let's go
soon we will reach the bridge over river Gauja. I'm going up here, the famous uphill part of Sigulda. During the cycling marathon, this unity race, you need to go up here and uh, people that's very difficult I would say very difficult but if you will rent the electric bike it will be much easier for you as these guys did Almost over. Now we will turn right here and we will go back to Festival Square. Yeah, and two bottles of water is not enough uh, in such hot weather. You need to take at least. Uh, yeah, I guess uh, three bottles of water will be enough for this journey. I want to drink very badly. We'll be driving now to some shop to buy water. Maybe Coca-Cola, cold co Coca. Ah, that would be great. Oh, I really enjoyed today's journey. Yeah, the journey is over. That's enough for today. Press like and subscribe. See you. Bye.